What up, cucks? It's your boy, the hater up in this bitch. And now I'm going to talk about WrestleMania. We're going to preview every single match of this WrestleMania. And as a special bonus, we're going to talk about the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Let's see. Who cares about that one? Hopefully uh, something cool happens, like someone comes back or something like that. Otherwise, I couldn't give a damn. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get to night one. All right, the first match on Wikipedia here that we're going to talk about is Austin Theory versus John Cena for the U.S. title. I actually am looking forward to this. This could be a passing of the torch moment. Austin Theory clearly is going to be the next John Cena. Um, I mean, hopefully, who knows, right? But wrestling John Cena is always a big deal at WrestleMania. It's always a big deal, period. So I'm looking forward to this. There's always a chance that John Cena could win. You know, you never know. Um, and that would be great. I highly doubt it. But... Either way, I do think that John Cena is going to have a moment. You know what I mean? Like, he's going to have that moment where, like, Austin Theory might roll him up or Cena might win by DQ or something like that. And Cena's going to whoop his ass afterwards, I feel like. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm excited for that. Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul, number two. Now, this match I am looking forward to as well because I believe that this match has the potential to be the match of the night. Straight up. No joke. Seth Rollins, obviously one of the best guys in WWE. Logan Paul... One of the best wrestlers that we've seen in a long time, Cucks. Uh, so I'm excited for these first two matches, which is weird because I thought this WrestleMania was going to suck ass. Next up, we have Trish, Lita, and Becky Lynch versus Damage Control, which is Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky. This is a throwaway match. It's basically just like look at Trish and Lita and look how great they still are. Um, so I am looking forward to seeing that, seeing how well they do, I guess. But not, not too much because. They are obviously going to win, so who cares? You know what I mean? It makes no difference to me, but we'll see. Then we have Lesnar versus Omas. Um, I couldn't give a rat's ass about this match, if you ask me. Um, I hope Lesnar wins. I hope this is not some sort of, like, Omas moment, because Omas, it's never going to happen, motherfuckers. You're never going to get the next big show, and it's not going to be Omas. Next, we have Bianca Belair and Asuka. Now, here's the thing about this match, as well as the other match, which is Charlotte versus Rhea Ripley. The good news is that both of these matches are on night one. So once we get this shit out of the way, we can move on to things that we actually want to see. With that being said, um, I'm looking forward to neither of these matches. I couldn't give a shit uh, who wins. I couldn't give a shit who loses. I couldn't give a shit who becomes champion. I would expect Asuka and Rhea Ripley to win their respective matches just because it's time for a change. But... Um, Bianca Belair, in my opinion, is like one of the worst champions of all time. She's just boring. But, and Charlotte, I mean, it's over. I mean, let's let's move on, right? Um, but thus far, night one, and there's a few matches. The only match announced for night, night two is the main event. But thus far, if this is night one, this looks like shit. This looks like backlash. You know what I'm saying? Like a bad version of backlash. But whatever, at least we get Cena, we get Logan Paul, and we get Trish and Lita. That's the only thing we can look forward to is people that aren't generally there. You know what I mean? Next up, night two. Um, assuming this is all going to be night two. We have Gunta versus Sheamus versus Drew McIntyre. This also has the potential to be one of the best matches of the two nights, right? Um, I like all three of these guys. Uh, Drew McIntyre I like the least probably. Sheamus I like. Uh, he, he's growing on me again. Uh, Gunta, is, is, he's good. He's good. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen. But once again, it doesn't really matter if any one of these guys wins or any one of these guys gets pinned, right? It's completely irrelevant, completely meaningless, but it could be a good match, and maybe it's just presented as that. Then we have Edge versus Finn Balor. Um, I don't want to see this at all. I think that Edge is being underutilized by being placed in a match with Finn Balor, who should be in the Andre the Giant Battle Royal and get thrown out by, like, Baron Corbin or something. Uh, next up, we have the Women's WrestleMania Showcase Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Match. In other words, this is, like, what has replaced... The two battle royals. Some of the women that aren't quite as as jobberish, they get to be in this match. We have Liv Morgan and Raquel uh, Rodriguez versus Natalia and Shotzi versus Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler and versus Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville. Now, all right, Ronda Rousey's in this match, so that might bring a few eyeballs. But let's be real, nobody really gives a damn about this match. I mean, this, there's nothing on the line. You know, if you win or lose, they might never tag team again. Who the fuck knows, right? It'd be cool. If whoever wins gets an immediate push, like on Raw, the Raw after WrestleMania, you know what I mean? But that's probably not going to happen, so I don't care. Then we have the men's version of the same exact bullshit. It's Braun Strowman and Ricochet 
versus the Street Profits versus Alpha Academy versus the Viking Raiders with Valhalla. Valhalla is uh, Sarah Logan. She's back now. She's just called Valhalla. I mean, just stupid as shit, if you ask me. I don't care who wins at all. Um, the only thing that could come from this match is, let's say, for example, they want to break up the Street Profits. After the match, after uh, maybe Montez Ford gets pinned, Angelo Dawkins just turns on his ass, right? And this sets up the inevitable Montez Ford push that everyone's clamoring about, which will lead to a mid-card title and then a uh, uh, Madcap Moss type of career. So we'll see. Then we have what could be one of the main events for one of the nights, the Usos versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. This should be one of the main events. Just be, not because of Sami Zayn or anything, any stupid shit like that. It should be the main event because of the Usos, right? The Usos have been so great in terms of, like, the way they're booked that they deserve the main event the most. And then we have Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio, which I think could be good, right? This could be a passing of the torch moment. This could be Rey Mysterio's final match, considering that, you know, he's being inducted into the Hall of Fame, and that's, I feel like, almost always that means that the person retires, unless they're like Ric Flair, you know what I mean? I mean, of course, we're going to see Rey Mysterio at some point, I'm sure, but... You know, it could be the end of Mysterio's career, and that's a big deal. That I might even consider putting that as a main event. Cucks, what do you think of that? So, now that we've gone over this bullshit, let's see uh, and then discuss who's going to win. Because this doesn't look like a good good card, in my opinion. So, going back to the top, who's going to win the Battle Royal, the Edge of the Giant? Uh, I'm going to go with Surprise Entrant. It has to be a Surprise Entrant. I don't really see a scenario where anyone else deserves it. Uh, if not, it might be Karrion Cross, and, you know, that's the the, the, the the end of his burial, if you ask me. Austin Theory versus Cena. I'm going to pick Austin Theory just because of the implications. Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul. I'm going to pick Seth Rollins for this one, of course. Trish Lita and Becky Lynch. It's going to be them, of course, 100%. Brock versus Omos. I'm going to pick Brock. Bianca Belair versus Asuka. I'm going to pick Asuka. And Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley. I'm going to pick... Um, What's it called? Rhea Ripley, reluctantly, on this one. Uh, let's go over to night two before we talk about the main event a little bit. Uh, I'm going to pick Gunther to win. I'm going to pick Edge to win his match. Uh, the women's and men's Fatal 4-Way. I'm going to pick Braun Strowman and Ricochet. And I'm going to pick uh, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. I think they're going to get it. And then Usos versus uh, Owens and Zayn. I'm going to pick... I don't know. This one's actually difficult. I do feel like this is the beginning of the end for the Bloodline. But... I just don't really see it happening. But I'm going to pick Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn anyways because the storyline dictates that that's what should happen. Ray versus Dominic. I'm going to pick Ray. I know this is like probably not going to happen, but I'm going to pick Ray. I have a feeling, motherfuckers. And now the main event. Strangely, for the several, the several WrestleManias in a row, the main event has been the most interesting part, primarily because it involves Roman Reigns. But generally speaking, it's been interesting because it's been unpredictable. That's the good thing with having Roman Reigns as champion. It's You don't know how long this, re- this reign is going to last. Now, unfortunately, what probably is going to happen is Cody Rhodes is going to win. But I'm going to pick Roman Reigns because I believe that's the correct move. And I have to have faith that someone in that company knows what they're doing. Roman Reigns needs to hit 1,000 days. And then, honestly, you might even just have him relinquish the title, win it back, and then lose it or something. I don't know. Like, keep this going as long as possible or just keep him around. How about that, motherfucks? With that being said... That concludes our preview. I'm not looking forward to this. Of course, I'm going to watch it. And of course, I'm going to review it. But I'm not looking forward to it, cuckolds. And then uh, maybe I'll do a little preliminary preview for NXT Stand and Deliver. We'll see. I don't know, motherfucks. Take care of yourself.